So you're thinking about moving to Charlotte and you want a more walkable and urban vibe. I'm going to give you a personal tour of what it's like to live, work, and play in South End, which is a vibrant, youthful, and trendy Charlotte neighborhood. Let's get started right now. Where is South End? It is located just outside of Uptown and it's convenient to just about anywhere. You can be Uptown in about seven minutes and you can be at the Charlotte Douglas International Airport in about 15 minutes. South End has it all and there's no shortage of activities to fill your weekends. Deeply entrenched in its Milltown past, this playful district now inspires creative industries such as craft beer, culinary delights, art galleries, and more. South End bursts with life and vibrancy day and night. Its proximity to other major Charlotte neighborhoods makes it even better as it continues to grow. So if you're looking for an upbeat neighborhood with a rich history, consider calling South End your home. South End had its beginnings in the 1850s with Charlotte's first railroad line, connecting the Queen City to Columbia and Charleston, South Carolina. As time passed, a thriving manufacturing community sprang up along the tracks, centered on the booming textile industry. It was not all textiles for South End. In the 1920s, Philip Lance, with the help of his daughter, created the Lance Packaging Company, which came up with the notion of putting peanut butter on crackers. These were sold as snacks to mill workers during their long 10-hour shifts and eventually became a convenience store and lunchbox staple. The original Lance site now houses office and retail spaces, including Lincoln Haberdashery, which serves up sandwiches and snacks. Today, South End is a sought-after place to live and a hot destination for flourishing companies and budding entrepreneurs. Corporate giants like Allstate, USAA, and Lowe's, as well as law firms, accounting firms, and even co-working spaces are leasing up big chunks of office space, which is pushing rents at or above those of Uptown Charlotte. South End really started to take shape as we know it today in 2007, when the much-awaited light rail, known as the Lynx Blue Line, finally began running. The Blue Line connected South End to Uptown and made commuting a breeze. Then, around 2013, breweries started popping up throughout South End and have been a major contributor to the transformation of South End from abandoned factories to an eclectic mixed-use community. South End's residential boom started with the 2002 opening of The Arlington, a 23-story condo development that many locals call the Pink Building or the Pepto Building. Most of the real estate you will find in South End is going to be two to three bedroom townhomes. The prices range from the upper 500,000s to 800,000s, but there are some that have recently tipped the $1 million mark. You can find a few one-bedroom condos for around 400,000, but this is definitely one of the more expensive neighborhoods. South End primarily caters to young professionals and also those who like a more urban and walkable neighborhood. If you do decide to raise your family in South End, you have some of the best schools in Charlotte. You have Selwyn Elementary, Dilworth Elementary, Alexander Graham Middle School, Sedgefield Middle School, and Myers Park High School. South End is a very walkable and transit-oriented neighborhood. Because South End is on the light rail's blue line, it makes a trip to Uptown, Noda, or even the university area a breeze. South End is also very popular for cycling and electric scooters. Don't have a bike or a scooter? Grab one through bike sharing programs such as Lime, Bird, and Joyride. The rail trail is a three and a half mile stretch of sidewalks that runs along the light rail, providing a car-free zone for walkers, runners, and cyclists that also gives people easy access to breweries, restaurants, and shopping and make sure to get your camera ready for all of the murals painted there. There is the color forest installation, the multicolored magic carpet murals, and don't miss the Instagram worthy confetti hearts wall in Neville's Alley. Visit Atherton Mill and Market for your shopping, drinking, dining, and self care needs. You can find national brands like Sephora, West Elm, Anthropology, Lululemon, 
made well, and free people. You'll also find some local favorites like Boem, Savory Spice Shop, and The Cocktailery. And don't miss the Atherton Farmer's Market located along the rail trail off of Tremont Avenue every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can buy produce, meat, seafood, eggs, and a variety of dairy products. In addition, you can find supplies at the market to create a garden or pick out home and bath care products. Some of your grocery store options in South End are Publix and Harris Teeter along South Boulevard. And if you're looking for the nearest big box stores like Trader Joe's, Target, and Best Buy, then head over to Metropolitan. There are tons of local fitness studios like Barry's Boot Camp, BK Pilates, several yoga studios, and even Inner Peaks Climbing if that's your thing. Grab some post-workout coffee from Not Just Coffee located in Atherton Mill. Want some donuts to go along with that coffee? Krispy Kreme opened up a store with a walk-up window in South End that adjoins its new corporate office. And if you want something a little more local, check out Pepper Box Donuts in Neville's Alley. Dining options in South End are endless because you have some of the city's finest right in your backyard. Grab dinner at Hawker's Asian Street Fair, followed by a delicious frozen dessert at Jenny's Splendid Ice Creams. Share small plates and sip a glass of wine or a craft cocktail at Barcelona, or grab a margarita at Super Rica. Order a sandwich and hang out at Common Market, which is a quirky market bodega. If you go upstairs, you'll see the board games that you can play there. And did we mention that South End has breweries? If you walk further south along the rail trail, you'll find yourself at the Suffolk Punch, which is a brewery, culinary cafe, tap house, and coffee bar all rolled into one. South End has tons of community activities that you can take part in, from regular gallery crawls to the annual Arts and Soul Festival. Definitely consider visiting one of South End's fantastic art galleries during the South End First Friday, when galleries and shops offer extended hours, special receptions, live painting, and music. The South End neighborhood is known for its lively nightlife. Craft breweries, art galleries, nightclubs, restaurants, and more flood South End's nightlife options. If you are someone that enjoys a vibrant nightlife after work, South End would be a phenomenal choice. That wraps up our tour of South End. So what do you think? Can you imagine yourself living here? Drop your comments below. I'd love to know what you think about South End. I'm Becky McCulley, your Charlotte Realtor. I hope you enjoyed learning about South End today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another Charlotte Neighborhood Tour.